Good morning, everybody. I'm Jean Ketchum, Aging but Dangerous, and I am so excited today because I have a really special person with us that I just love to pieces, and uh, she's a real expert in her field, um, and her name is Kimbra Ness, and she is with Keller Williams Integrity Northwest. Did I say that right, Kimbra? You did, Jean. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to be here. And, you know, I wish we could be together in person and hug. And I miss you. I miss I you. Know but it. this is the next best thing. I know it. I miss you, too. And you look, you look fabulous. Thank you, as do you, always. Thank you, thank you. Okay, Kimbra, we were talking the other day. You know, I'm really trying to have um, some really special people on during the on these interviews because I want to know how people are feeling about this whole virus and and how they are coping with it and how their businesses are operating you are in real estate you're very successful in in your job in real estate and I just wanted to know from you I think our our followers should kind of get an idea of what's going on out there is is real estate really happening is it a bad time to buy or sell or you know what are you seeing out there in your field well as always um your home is where you make a life i love and that that's, that's always been my philosophy whether or not you have to be ready to sell whether it's a good market or a not good market or whether it's a seller's market or a buyer's market you have to be ready personally because it is your biggest financial decision whether you're buying or selling and so right now it is a good time to sell because interest is extremely low therefore it's peaking the buyer's interest of course it always depends on the market and the price so low and inventory especially in the minneapolis metropolitan area being so low it is kind of a seller's market okay well, what is the interest rate now kimbra in, in most cases it's below three percent wow so yeah. that is an incentive it uh, is. It is. What about the, you know, I, of course, I live in the city, as you know, but what about the outlying suburbs and um, are, is it inventory better out there or is it this about no. the same? Yeah, depend, there again, depending on the price point, but inventory is very low. Inventory is very low. Well, so how, what do people, what should people know? Um, you know, I have a good friend now that's, thinking about selling and she wants to go in and you know change the wallpaper and do all kinds of things and is that really really necessary at this point in time again depending on the price point of the home i would because interest is we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow next week two months so if you are interested in selling what i would advise people doing is first of all the most important thing that you can do is decut declutter and clean that those two things are utmost important from there you can look at visually your your the first impression that a buyer sees is the outside of your home so maybe remove some of the dead brush and put some potted plants there plant some other um, of foliage that is least expensive. The quickest thing that you can do to get your home ready to put on the market, again, because you wanna seize this opportunity. We don't know how long this is going to last. If I had a crystal ball, I would, I, I tell people, because my, my first and foremost is being, um, helping people, being a partner and helping them navigate the transaction. So I want to be able to help people in, in understanding that this is a prime time. Now is not the time to take four months or three months and invest a lot of money. Your ROI, your return on investment may not come. There are many things that you can do that would get, that would you would reap those benefits. Again, it depends on your situation. If you plan on staying in your home for another five to 10 years, yes, look at those remodels because it's self-enjoyment at that point in time. Right, right. But 
it to do that to invest that much money you won't return it won't come out in the end besides that you're bargaining whether or not you're going to appeal to the likes of a buyer say for example changing carpet you don't know if that's what that buyer would want so make sure it's clean and those are part of the negotiations that we can we can handle well yeah and just like you said you know i mean you may pick out a, a certain color for your mm -hmm. kitchen and it would be something that somebody else would just come in and just not like at all right. but um and kimbra i just oh, i just think you're like the best uh but you were saying even to me the other day that that people should interview at least three realtors absolutely because we all communicate at different levels and we all communicate in different ways so you really need to find that agent that resonates with you you need to understand their community you know how they need to understand how you want to be communicated to and if an agent doesn't look at that then you might want to interview another agent but highly recommend you know interviewing a few different agents and then looking at those and seeing who really your your gut instinct is something that I, I truly believe in and, um, and and go from there. Sometimes it's not always a friend. Sometimes it's not always a relative. Right. And and um, you need those are hard choices to make. I know, mm -hmm. but they're really again. This is your biggest biggest financial decision. Mm -hmm. Well, and and the one thing I I love that you do, Kimbra, is you do give back. You give a certain percentage of your sale back to back to a charity, exactly. Yeah, charity. Yep. And um, that is just my way of, of giving back. And and I've been very blessed in my life. And I'm a recovering cancer survivor. And um, so it's whatever that whatever nonprofit works. Um, and is a favorite for the client is something that I look at and um, and we can talk about that at, during the time of the interview. Now there's something else I can help people anywhere within the United States, really anywhere without around the world because KW is the largest real estate company um, in the world. So what I can do is I can oversee a transaction from Minneapolis that's happening in Tra Tampa, Florida. I get one of my team members to be the boots on the ground there. And then I, I work with them in making sure that that representation goes strong and goes well. And that really is good to know because we just sold our property down in Florida. And um, I guess I didn't realize that you, you could have done that. Um, so that really is good for people to know. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I think that's such good advice. And then you were also saying about, you know, planting flower, you know, putting some planted flowers out. And I was telling you about how I have gotten on our, we're living in this apartment building up on the 21st floor. And so we didn't want to haul up all the flowers and dirt this year. So I actually put in some silk flowers and some plastic flowers and Kimbra, yep. they look really beautiful. Yep. And and you could mix them with real flowers if you've got some that were not blooming. So I mean that's something <laughs> that can be done like, you know, like right away without having to wait for them to grow. But Right, right. Well and the best thing about potted plants is you take them with you. Yeah. So if you have a big potted plant, it looks great curb appeal wise. And if you can spruce up the front door painting and or the trim and that, put those potted plants out there, take away some of the dead growth, um, then you take that with you. Yeah. Well, <laughs> and I, I did want everybody to, you know, we talked about having this interview in a week or, or you know, one or two weeks. And we both decided that now is a good time. I wanted this information to get out there right now for people um, because I don't think people are aware. No, everybody's so busy talking about this coronavirus that they're not talking about anything else. And I, it's just such a perfect time. So when you and I were discussing this, we, you know, both of us decided this information needs to get out there like right away. So yeah. there's uh, a lot of changes in the housing trend right now. Um, a lot of people, some people are going to multi-generational homes. So they're actually buying a larger home and a home that has one level living to be able to include their mom or dad or wow. grandpa or grandma and, and bringing them, like I said, into a multi-generational living situation. 
the other thing is is people are looking at okay i've been in my house for 40 years now is the time to get that equity out and buy something that i can live in for another 20 20 25 years one level living um so it um whether or not that's in a condo style or a villa or an attached townhome type of situation but the thing is right now um and i will come out and do a market analysis and that's called a cma and um find out what you what your home is really worth and it's totally it like i said it is it is something that is a decision that's a personal decision whether it's right for you but home is where you make your life and you have to be ready well and also i wanted to put this in um that people that are nervous about selling and they're afraid they can't find something because like you said the inventory is low well they can go rent someplace until they do find something there exactly. is so much rental property out there and you can get you know a six month lease or three month or whatever and so i just think it's so important for people to know that the timing here is is really um we just well, really wanted to get this word out Yep, and the other thing is, is that that's part of the negotiation. Whether or not you can, you find some place where you want to live. Um, buying a home is your biggest form of rent control because you know that mortgage, you know what the price is going to be. It, it can't be raised. The one thing I do want to emphasize, Jean, is safety. A lot of people are questioning the safety of people coming into their home. What I do are virtual tours. You can actually, on my app, schedule for me to go out and do a virtual tour of the home. There's virtual tours online, of course, with the, the listing from the listing agent, which is great. But what I do is I go in the home and actually show the home a what a hands on view of what you would be seeing and so that that eliminates not only for the buyer but for the seller the traffic and so that eliminates um exposure uh safety is my my top priority mm -hmm. i have masks i have gloves i have sanitizer but there again it is all in the personal comfort level of the of the client um mm -hmm. i had a home that was on the market we took it off the market during quarantine now it's back on the market mm -hmm. um so i work with that individual and i'm very cognizant of the seller as well um, making sure that they feel safe. I want mm -hmm. I want it to be a win-win on both sides of the the, mm -hmm. the transaction. Well, I'm so glad we covered that, uh, Kimbra. That was good that that you covered that because I had I hadn't thought about that. So mm -hmm. I think that's great. Well, thank you so much for this information today, and um, I just I really wanted to get this out there. And you're the best person that I could think of to get it uh, out. So. Well, Thank and you, we'll, we will have your information on our uh, website and along with this um, this interview uh, on YouTube and, yep. and we put it all up on social media yep. so people can find you. Yep. Well, and, and people can call me. I answer my own phone. Um, okay. And so um, call me. Just ask the questions. I'm here to yeah. answer. That doesn't mean that you hire me as your agent that's a fact finding and and i appreciate that that people are like i said it's your biggest investment so yeah. that reach out to me via email text or um on my phone i'm happy yeah. to answer questions okay good all right kimbra thanks see you okay bye 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 thank you